to Pinterest Club. This month we are going to be making these really adorable little snowman salt and pepper shakers. And um, in this video, we're just going to show you, go through the steps on how we're going to, how we're going to do that. Uh, first, we'll go through what is in your kit, in your bag here. You should have a set of salt and pepper shakers. You should have um, two of the little puff balls, cotton balls. You should have a container full of glitter and a container with little styrofoam balls in it. And these things go everywhere. They are very high static. Be careful. Beware. Um, two cutouts of fabric and a little baggie that has um, should have two carrot noses and some buttons in there. And then it should also have an instruction sheet that goes over everything that we're going over for you to refer to. And the biggest thing, um, there are two things that you will need that are not included in the kit, and that is going to be a glue gun and a uh, black marker, um, preferably a Sharpie is going to work the best. That's for the eyes. If you do not have a glue gun, um, just make sure to get a hold of us here at the library and we can check one out to you. But I think everybody that signed up has uh, told me in the past that they have glue guns, so we should be good to go. All right, so step one is take the lid off your salt and pepper shaker. And then you're going to fill it with your filler and your glitter. I said this stuff is very staticky. And remember this is for both salt and pepper shakers. So you're gonna wanna split it kind of in two. Um, this stuff will take on a mind of its own. I found that for cleanup, if you use a wet paper towel, that will that will help a lot. You kind of just want to you know, eyeball how you put it in there. And then I put the lid back on, put my hands over the holes, and I shook it just to give it a good mix up. I don't know. I think I need more glitter. My station is covered in glitter and puff balls and yours is clean. How does that work? I have no idea. <laughs> you do have quite the pile there. <laughs> See the puff balls stick to everything and they just go everywhere. All right, so once you've got it in there, you kind of shake it up a little bit. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, it's all a matter of preference. So like I've got a little more glitter. Dana's got a few more balls. Just a matter of what you like. Yeah. All right, so then comes the tricky part. These balls are really big. If you want to leave it whole, you can, or you can trim it down. Just take some scissors and kind of give it a little haircut. Shape it down however you want. Oh. Until you find the size that you like. Oh, you want, you want to cut yours? I do want to. Okay. Yeah. They're looking a lot better than when we first got them. They came in a package and they decided to, uh, they were very flat. To vacuum seal them. Who puts me in charge of crafting things? I do. Secondary. I know you kind of got to kind of have to shape it as you go. Um, if you can find an easier way to cut it than what we did. But you know, no, no snowman is perfect. It just depends on how you're doing your snow. And so even though mine's a little choppy, I'm going to put the choppy part towards the bottom. Now you got to glue him on. <clears throat> so you need to make sure you get your glue really well 
on the rim. And once you get your hook ball on there, you're going to have to add more glue. Be careful, don't burn yourself. As I did. Better than the super glue we did last time. Oh, yeah, that would probably be good. My luck, I would super glue myself. So now you want to add some glue then to this to make sure he sticks. So if you have kids, they don't open it up and you have glitter everywhere. Or animals. Or animals. No, so just seal it up good. My cats would totally knock this over and try to play with it. Even though my son is almost 13, he would try to peel it open and see what the inside is. Just because he's curious. And you are going to cover this part of it with some material, so it's okay if it's a little gloopy. He has to have a scarf, but you want to make sure he's good and secure. Now, I would do the scarf at this point, and what I did is I put it in front. Uh, it's stuck to the glue already. Because <laughs> you want to kind of up high, wrap it around, bring it to the front, and then tie it. And I was always taught right over left and up through. So you kind of want to have to move it around, shape it how you want. You can use a little glue to tack it down. I'm going to come a little closer and do it again. So, and you can trim your scarf up any way you want to. It's right in my own way. Flip straight forward, wrap it around, and then that's where I'm going to tie. And then you're going to want to probably trim up your, your material to make it a little shorter. You could even do some cuts this way and make it a little fringy so it's cutting up from the bottom. Just work it until you get it to where you like it. It's not easy to do. You're going to add French tears. I like that idea. And of course, if you have some stuff at home that you'd rather use instead of the material we put in, even any of it, go right ahead. And do we add a little bit of glue to the scarf to make sure that it holds? You can, yep. I'm always in favor of just a little bit more glue. Um, weird. Just make adjustments however you want. You can always glue this at the very end as well um, once you have the nose set, the eyes done. The placement, if you see from my example, which I'm going to come closer, the first one I did, I kind of got it a little too far off to the side. He's kind of a little double make hair type. So make sure you get your placement where you would like it before you glue it down. Mm -hmm. However you want to do it. I suppose you could even put the eyes and nose on first too. 
Okay, good. Yeah. I'm feeling a little devil make here, and I'm just going to wing it. There you go. Winging is good. Careful not to burn yourself like I just did. Cold water is your friend. And it does stick pretty quickly. This cotton, the little cotton ball hot head, the blue kind of adheres to it pretty good. Make sure you remember which side's the front too. <laughs> So the nose is pretty easy to attach. It has this little pointy end that you're gonna stick inside. So, and it has a little bit of a curve to it. So kind of make sure you know where you wanna place it before you insert it. I also added a little glue, but I put it in first. Just give him a little twist. And then put a little glue on it, on your nose. Remember where your little hole was. Oh, he's even cute without a face. Aww, without yeah. eyes. So now you want to put your eyes and your mouth on if you want your snowman to have eyes and mouth, which we recommend a felt tip or a fine line Sharpie. I'm not sure how this one will work because it's kind of a bigger tip. But it's working pretty good. If you wanted a girl one, you could uh, take a little blusher. Oh, that'd be cute. Or a little pink marker. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. We've also included some buttons. If you want to add buttons on the front of your, your jar or onto your scarf. Yeah, that's that's it. It's that easy. I'm putting the buttons on my. Yeah, my buttons. And what's nice is these can go up, be sitting out all winter, so January and February. Oh. Ta-da! Here's the one I just did. And you will get a pair, so you'll have two. Cheers. Hi. You can make them dance. <laughs> put on a little puppet show. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, you could put peppercorns. Oh, you could. There's a lot of things that you could put inside of here. Um, you could put colored peppercorns inside. You just want to make sure you kind of seal off the top. You could do uh, confetti. Yeah. There's all kinds of stuff that you could put in there that you might just have lying around your house. Yeah. All right, so our next program is at the end of this month, we are going to be making these journals on the laser cutter. So um, I'll either laser engrave journal or your name onto it and we'll put them together and then you'll have a cute little journal for 2021 or recipes, recipes or whatever it is that you want to do with it. Um, so that will be here in a couple of weeks. Check out our calendar to sign up for that. And then we've also got some fun stuff coming up in February. So thank you again for joining us. It's been fun. Bye, everybody. Bye.